Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-recorded demo of Agency Dialer. My name is Ashley and I'll be moving through this demonstration with you. And um, At the end of this demo, I will be posting my contact information in case you have any questions or need additional assistance. Um, so be on standby for that. Um, other than that, we're going to go ahead and get going here. Um, a little bit about Agency Dialer, we've been, um, we're very involved within the farmers community. We're in several district offices, agency points, Farmers University, um, as well as thousands of agents across the country. Um, we are completely web-based, so what that means is no software or equipment is needed to utilize Agency Dialer. All you have to have is a phone line and internet access. Um, we are the only TCPA auto dialer on the market that keeps you 100% compliant with the telemarketing rules, um, so that's an added bonus to using Agency Dialer. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here up at the top, and then we'll talk about how we keep you TCPA compliant. Um, Agency Dialer has created two different calling platforms. Our, far, our first being our auto dialer. This is our default calling platform where we're going to make the bulk of our calls from. But then we also have created our click-to-call platform. This is our compliant calling platform for cell phones. So with the telemarketing rules and regulations that came out last October, they stated that you can no longer call cell phones via automated dialers. So what we have done is we've worked with an outside TCPA compliance firm, as well as with Farmers Corporate, to create this click-to-call platform. That way you are 100% safe, um, but still able to call your contacts more efficiently. Um, like I stated before, our calling assistant is our default, so that's where we're always going to begin. I'm going to go ahead and click on Access Calling Assistant here. The very first step to using an auto dialer is to import your leads. You can get your list from a variety of different places. You can pull it off of ECMS. You can buy it from a list or lead provider. You can compile it yourself, um, but it does have to be in Excel format no matter where it comes from. So to import our list, we're just simply going to go to List, Import. We're going to find wherever our file is located on our computer. Open it up. We're going to give it a name here. Click Next. Now we are simply matching our first column here with our last column using these drop downs. This is letting the system know what type of information is coming from our spreadsheet. Um, Basically, all we're doing is labeling our data. So we're going to move down the line here. Anything that is not pre-populated in this dropdown, we're going to select User Defined For, and just type it in the box that pops open to the right. Once we've defined all of our fields, we're going to go ahead and click Import. At this point, it's going to verify for us and let us know that all of our records were imported successfully. So now that our leads are in, our, in the system, our next step is to set up our voicemails. Agency Dialer allows us to have up to four pre-recorded voicemails. Essentially, what this allows you to do is come in, record your voicemails, and then anytime when you're using the auto dialer, you encounter an answering machine. All you'll have to do is click the button. The system will leave your pre-recorded message for you while it moves you along to your next contact in your list. It gives you instructions right here on the screen on how to record these voicemails, um, so feel free to do this at any point in time. Once you have your list in and your voicemails are set up, you're ready to begin your calling. To do so, you're going to go to Campaign, Initial Contact List. You'll choose the appropriate campaign type. The reason why this is so important is because this determines what type of scrubbing that particular list is going to receive. So we have our cold calls, our cross-selling calls, our FFRs, our 21st century leads, and our business campaigns. Agency Dialer will be scrubbing for free against the federal, the state, and the farmer's in-house do not call list. Okay? All of the scrubbing does happen real time. So it doesn't happen as we import, it happens as we call, so it's always the most up-to-date information. Once we select our campaign type, we're going to choose the list that we want to call in. We're going to choose our ring time here. We do suggest a 30 or 35 second ring time just because that is what gives you the greatest connection rate, but it's completely customizable, so whatever you're comfortable with. We are then going to choose whatever voicemail we want to use for this particular campaign, and we are going to click Call In. 
At this point, the system will populate a local number for you. You will call into the local number, enter your PIN number, and press pound, and you will be immediately directed to the dialing screen. I will be calling into this local number now and conferencing in, into our phone call so you can see exactly what the dialing screen looks like. Give me just a brief moment. Call in pin number now and press pound when you are finished. Thank you for using CallLogic. Please click the start button to begin calling. Okay, at this point we have been taken over to the dialing screen. To begin our calling campaign, we're simply going to click on the start button. When we do so, it will start dialing out to the first contact in our list. We'll never hear any ringing with the system, and that's to allow for multitasking. But as soon as the connection is made, we'll hear a beep, and then we just proceed with the conversation like usual. Okay. If after the beep we recognize that there is a voicemail, we'll simply click our Leave a Voicemail button and be moved along to our next call. We're going to go through a couple calls here together so you can see the features and exactly how the calling works. Click the Start button. You can see it's dialing out. Here is my contact's information, and now I'm just waiting for a beep signifying that a connection was made. Call Logic, this is Nicole. Hi, Nicole. This is Ashley doing a demo. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Hey, can you do me a favor and just set the phone down, and I'll hang up on you in just a minute when I'm ready? Yeah, I sure can. Thank you. Okay, that was an example of a live call. We waited for the beep. We heard the beep. I recognized that it was Nicole, and now it's a normal conversation. There's no delay. There's no robo message. It's a normal phone call. Nicole has no idea I'm even using an auto dialer. While I'm on the phone, I can view all of Nicole's additional information by clicking on this View slash Edit button here. You can see it's all right here. I can edit this information as I go and add to it, save it to her contact, and then close my window. I can also record my phone call, so I can record just the current call that I'm on or a continuous call. A continuous call will record every single call that we make for up to three hours. Um, we can work off of a script. If you like to have a script, you just simply create that script, import it into the system, and then you will be able to select it from the dropdown. Okay. We will take all our on-call notes here. and those will auto-save to our contact. We can do some um, pretty nice coaching and three-way transfer options here by clicking on this box. What this allows me to do is actually either select one of my um, predetermined contacts or type in a number. If I'm a marketer in your office, all I will need to do is click this coach button. That will connect you to my call with Nicole. You would be able to coach me through the call without Nicole ever knowing that you were on the line. We also have our three-way button. Again, this would connect you to Michael with Nicole, except Nicole would be, know that you were on the line and it would work as your average three-way call. I can also transfer a call, so I can transfer Nicole directly over to your line in which I would be moved along to the next contact in my list. Okay. <clears throat> we can send emails directly from the system by just simply clicking on the email button. It will pre-build in our contacts information. You can type up our email like usual and click send. Or just like we pre-created our scripts, we can also pre-create our emails, and then all we have to do is select the appropriate email from the dropdown and click send. These emails can include attachments, and so if that's an option, they can include those for you. They can include your farmer's signature, and they can come directly from your farmer's email account, in which all responses would go back to there as well. Once you have finished a call in its entirety, all you're going to do is click the Hang Up button. You'll select the appropriate disposition. This is simply how you're categorizing the call so that the system knows what follow-up action is required. Okay. What we are going to do is I'm going to select Provided Information since I sent Nicole that email. I will then click Submit, and it's automatically dialing out to my next contact, as you can see here. We are just waiting for that beep signifying a connection was made.
Your call has been answered by a via IP office. At this point, I recognize that it was a voicemail. I simply click my leave a voicemail button and I move along to my next call. Your call has been answered by a via IP. Again, that was an example of another voicemail. At this point, I clicked the button and the system automatically disconnected me. And you can see in green right here that that is because my campaign has been completed. So I've reached the end of my list. Um, I have the system has scrubbed out all of my DNC numbers. Now, if you remember to the beginning of the campaign or beginning of the demonstration when we were talking about the two different calling platforms, and I stated that we have a specific calling platform for cell phones, the system, as it does at DNC scrubbing, it also scrubs out every registered cell phone number and automatically queues it up on the click to call side. So to access our cell phone numbers, we are simply going to hover over my account. We will switch to click to call. We will then start an initial cell phone list. From this screen, we'll leave our campaign type, select our um, list file here, and click Call In. The screens are almost identical to the one that we were just on, with the only difference being when we click the Start button, it will, start, um, it will load up our next lead. It won't begin to dial until we initiate the call by clicking the Call button. So there's one extra click of the button on the Click to Call side, but that one extra click of the button is what keeps you 100% compliant. Okay. The last thing I'm going to briefly show you here is our reports. We can pull a campaign report based on the activity that we have done today. I can see specifically how many calls I've made, how many connections I've had, and the specific call progresses for each of those calls. I can view just um, particular information here, or I can view all my information, in which any of this information is also easily exportable out to a basic Excel document. When I export this out, it will bring out my date and time in which I called them, the length of my call, my call progress, and any notes that I took on the call as well. Okay, so that is good um, data for you to look at in terms of um, how your calls are going. But that is pretty much it. We have reached the end of our demonstration together. I hope you enjoyed Agency Dialer. And like I stated before, I would be more than happy to answer any questions for you. At this point in time, I'm going to leave my contact information up on the screen for a brief minute, and I'm going to go ahead and end the demonstration. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and thank you for taking the time to view the demo. Have a great day.